Hey guys, happy Molecule Monday. I'm currently drinking my new favorite beverage, which is matcha. And I thought it would be fun to kick off the Molecule Monday series by talking about some studies on matcha and green tea for skin benefits. So there have been several studies that suggest that topical application of green tea and matcha actually help reduce pore size help treat acne, and also help treat rosacea. And in addition, there have also been many studies that suggest that both topical application and also oral consumption of matcha and green tea have photoprotective effects and also anti-carcinogenic effects. First of all, just before we get into the studies, I'll just quickly explain the difference between matcha and green tea. Okay, so really the only difference is that matcha is shielded from sunlight, so it's kept in the shadow for 20 to 30 days before harvest. And also for matcha, it's uh, you consume the entire leaf, so it's ground up finely into a powder. So, so with matcha, you're consuming the entire tea leaf, whereas with green tea, you are not. And one main difference between matcha and green tea is that matcha has been found to have elevated levels, um, actually five times as much of a certain amino acid called L-theanine. And I'll talk about this amino acid more later, but it has very interesting neurological implications, very positive effects. So I'll talk about that more later, but I first want to talk about the skin benefits of matcha and green tea. So all teas have compounds called polyphenols. These are antioxidants. And one polyphenol in particular that makes green tea and matcha really stand out as far as the polyphenols is one called EGCG. And EGCG has actually been shown to have anti-carcinogenic effects against UV radiation. So there's a protein called P53 and it's responsible for repairing DNA damage caused by UVB radiation. And this protein also helps prevent formation of skin tumors. However, UV radiation can actually cause mutation of this protein and therefore cause it to lose its function. So there was a study that actually showed that topical application of this polyphenol from green tea prior to UV radiation actually prevented the degradation and disruption of this protein. And since this study, there have actually been many more studies on green tea and the photoprotective effects of green tea. One thing I want to say is that green tea application, topical application, cannot replace sunscreen application. It should be in addition to sunscreen application. I just want to make that clear that it's still necessary to use SPF um, in order to prevent um, melanoma-induced skin cancers. But I'm just going to be talking about some of the skin benefits of green tea topical application, but you should know that this, that don't think that it can replace sunscreen. You still need to wear sunscreen. This is just something that provides even more protection. So green tea polyphenols have actually also been shown to have anti-inflammatory effects and UV radiation actually leads to inflammatory responses in our skin that actually leads to photoaging, non-melanoma skin cancers, and also UV radiation induced immune suppression. There is a particular type of cell called longer Han cells and they actually initiate immune response to antigens in the epidermis of the skin. So these are very important for us to be able to have a proper immunity in our epidermis of the skin. So UV radiation actually depletes these cells, decreases the amounts of cells so that we cannot have a proper immune function within our epidermis. And But it's actually been shown that 3% green tea extract topically applied to the skin before UV exposure actually provides protection against UV induced depletion of these cells. Not only does it help prevent the depletion of these cells, but it also helps the regeneration of these cells by applying topical green tea extract before UV exposure. So upon exposure to UV radiation, there's a there are certain types of cells in the immune system called macrophages that actually will migrate to the epidermis. This causes oxidative stress by producing reactive oxygen species. And there have actually been studies that show that both oil consumption and topical application of green tea polyphenols 
prior to UV exposure actually have beneficial antioxidant effects, one of which is the inhibition of these macrophages in the epidermis. And it also reverses immune suppression caused by UV radiation. And in particular, studies have shown that it reduces proteins involved in immunosuppression and increases proteins that reverse immunosuppression. So you might be asking as far as oil consumption, how much do we need? So there are studies that have shown that drinking three cups of green tea a day provides sufficient antioxidants for DNA protection from UV radiation. However, there are some disagreements over that, so there need to be more studies to say definitively. Um, however, it's a pretty, it's pretty um, agreed upon that 3% green tea extract seems to be the requirement for um, these UV protective properties that I just talked about. So, um, so I think these studies are very promising and I would love to see green tea and more SPF products. Um, I think that would be great. I hope that there are more studies. Um, I hope that there are more human trials and with human participants and that we can see uh, the effects of combining SPF with green tea polyphenols. I think that could be very beneficial. Um, they're actually, I noticed that 100% pure uh, does have a green tea SPF. So I think that's great. Um, I hope that there will be more in the future. Okay, so I actually have a pro couple of products that actually contain green tea or matcha. And one I've already reviewed on my channel, but it's the Jack Black Intense Therapy Lip Balm SPF 25. But this contains green tea extract in addition to SPF. So I think that's great considering all the studies that I just reviewed for you, talking about the photoprotective effects of green tea. And another product I have that contains matcha is this Matcha Hemp and Hydrating Cleanser by Crave Beauty. So this is not going to provide protection against UV radiation. However, um, as I mentioned at the beginning, skincare products such as cleansers with matcha and green tea actually have been shown to help reduce pore size, reduce redness, acne, help treat rosacea. So um, if you have problems with rosacea or acne or large pores, for example, then a cleanser with matcha or green tea would probably be a great avenue for you to pursue. I'm planning to do a review on this matcha hemp hydrating cleanser because I've been using this for about a year now and I really love it. It's been really great for my skin. So let me know if you'd like me to do a full review on that cleanser. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about some other benefits of green tea in addition to skin benefits. So one benefit is actually comes from an amino acid called L-theanine. It's actually five times more predominant in matcha versus green tea. And the reason this amino acid is so interesting is that it's actually been shown to help increase concentration and focus while also giving a relaxed and calm feeling. So and what's very interesting about this is that it's been shown to cross the blood-brain barrier very efficiently. So it starts working very quickly. And I saw one study that said that it can start working within 30 minutes or even faster than that because of how readily it crosses the blood-brain barrier. And it's really interesting. There, uh, there have been some really interesting studies regarding this amino acid. And um, in particular, um, there were a lot of studies looking at treating anxiety and it was found to be particularly helpful for helping those with anxiety increase focus and also giving a relaxed and calm sensation. However, there's recently been a study at Oxford University um, analyzing brain waves and this was not just for those with anxiety. They looked at a healthy population of individuals and um, they just wanted to observe the effects of the brain. So in this study, they actually found that oral consumption of L-theanine actually promoted increase of alpha waves without affecting theta waves. So increase in alpha waves actually helps increase concentration and focus, whereas theta waves are involved in drowsiness. So it affects these alpha waves without affecting the theta waves. So, so, so kind of the effect it gives is very much a focused and concentrated feeling without the drowsiness and also a calm effect without drowsiness. And I honestly can say myself, I've only been consuming this for about a week now and I honestly have noticed a big difference myself. Um, I truly do feel a lot more relaxed and focused in the mornings. 
um, bef than I did before I started drinking matcha in the morning. So this has become part of my routine very quickly and I definitely recommend it. It's really helps me. So I, this is the, what I'm drinking is from Four Sigmatic, the uh, matcha mix. Um, I actually just decided to try some of the uh, Four Sigmatic beverages. So if, if you'd be interested in me reviewing those, kind of telling you my thoughts on all the beverages I ordered, it's the hot chocolate, the adaptogenic coffees, the matcha, the chaga elixir. So if you'd like me to review those and go over the ingredients in those, um, I would also be happy to do that. Um, but I honestly feel that it's had a really positive impact on my life so far by drinking matcha in the mornings. I personally feel the effects of it and again it's been reported that those with anxiety kind of report more of a sensation like I um, kind of report more of an improvement than those without anxiety so especially if you have anxiety and you feel that your anxiety causes you to lose focus and concentration then I think it could be something very beneficial for you to try but yeah I just also wanted to share that with you guys because I thought it was really interesting um, and could also be very helpful so I'm really excited to start the Molecule Monday series and I'm really excited that so many of you were excited about it as well and thanks so much for everyone who has given me recommendations I've written all of your recommendations down and I will get to every single one of them I've loved all the recommendations so far I really wanted to start this week with the green tea and matcha because I was really excited about all the studies about these but um, I definitely will be getting to all of your recommendations and if anyone else has recommendations you can always leave it in the comments below and I will definitely add it to the list of ingredients to review so um, if you're new to my channel um, this is my first Molecule Monday video but um, it's the beginning of a series in which every Monday I'm going to take an ingredient in either makeup, skincare, or supplements and break it down and talk to you about scientific studies on these ingredients so if that sounds interesting to you and if you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss my upcoming videos. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.